Hey everybody, it's One Stop Guy. How's everybody all doing today? Today, we're gonna talk about uh, a few things here um, that you need to know or have before you uh, start working with uh, DoorDash as a uh, DoorDash driver, okay? So this video is gonna be mainly focused for beginners, you know, for people that's planning to uh, sign up to be a Dasher, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys uh, five things that you should know or have um, before starting, all right? Before we get started, uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, so that way you guys don't miss out the next video, okay? So with that being said, uh, let's get started, all right? So um, I have a lot of friends and family, um, stuff like that wants to know uh, what they need to know or what they need to have before uh, they can start with DoorDash or what the requirements are, okay? So in this video, I'm going to explain all that with you guys. So basically, there's going to be about uh, five things I want to talk about today. OK, so um, the number one that they're going to that they're going to require is um, you need to be at least 18 years old to be a dasher. OK, so there's there is a a uh, age requirement to doing uh, the uh, food delivery uh, with DoorDash. So uh, just make sure you're at least 18 years old. All right. The second requirement is um, they're going to need you to have a smartphone, okay? It could be an iPhone or it could be an Android, all right? So uh, in order for you to make deliveries and uh, know where you're going, you need to have a a smartphone because that's where all the deliveries and, and everything you need to know and do is going to be in the DoorDash uh, driver app, okay? So that's why they will require you to have a smartphone for you to do these uh, these type of deliveries, all right uh the third one is uh they said i was reading inside the um the questions and answer of doordash website they require that you need to volunteer your social social security number all right so um in order to uh, be a driver with doordash they require you to volunteer your social security number i guess it's more for uh working purposes and for uh a payroll i believe so you know you have to have a social right to uh to uh to, you know for them to know who to pay but i know i know there's other ways but that, that's what they said in the doordash um um uh, what's that called the website is that they need you to volunteer your uh, social social security number all right and then the fourth one is um you basically could use any car okay as long as you have a driver's license a uh insurance and you have a clean driving record okay and also um the, you also need to ba pass a background check all right so um if you have if you're if you're good with those then you you have nothing to worry about okay so you're able uh to drive with uh doordash and then number five the last but not least is they're going to require you to go into a one-time orientation for about an hour all right um, they say if you can't go to the orientation, you can also uh, order a an activation kit that can be mailed to you. But be careful because if you order the activation kit, then you cannot uh, uh, enroll into the one hour or two hour orientation that they require. Okay, because a lot of people that I know uh, asking me why why you're able to go to the orientation, but I wasn't able to. Uh, the reason why is because if you order the uh, the activation kit, then you're not eligible for the in in class uh, orientation anymore. Okay, so be careful when you sign up. Um, if there is a location next to your house, make sure they select the location and the time that you're available. Okay, and the day that you're available, so that way you can actually go into the uh, the in class orientation. That's what I did because I want to make sure that I know how to use the app. And if I had any questions and stuff, I can ask the instructor. Okay. But if you uh, mistakenly order the uh, activation kit, then what you need to do is you got to wait for it to come home. And once uh, it comes home, you got to activate it. Okay. Go into a website or whatnot, I believe, and just activate that and activate your uh, red card. So that way you're good to go. All right. So, um, like I said, don't make that mistake if you want to be, you know, if you want to go into the orientation by ordering the activation kit. Because if you do order that, they're not going to allow you to go to orientation. Okay, so be careful and read carefully before um, you press next. Okay, when you're doing the 
you know, when you're in the sign up process, okay, just read carefully before you go to the next step. So that way you don't mistakenly select the activation kit if you, you know, if you decided that you wanted to go to the uh, the orientation uh, in, in the office, okay? So yeah, so that's the five things that every new dasher that's thinking of being a dasher uh, needs to know and uh, uh, needs to have, okay? So let me recap them. You need to be 18 years old or older. Old, older. Um, you gotta have a smartphone, an iPhone or an Android. You also need to have a car uh, as long as you have a driver's license, driver's license and a clean driving record and pass a background check, okay? I mean, there's some market where they allow you to uh, scooter, bike, and walk, but that's just depend on, depending on the market, all right? In my, in my area, I just drive because, you know, you can't really go anywhere if you don't drive. Um, and then uh, the, the last one is basically you're gonna go into an orientation, okay? Either that or you're gonna have a, uh, an uh, activation kit sent to your house. All right, guys. So if you guys are interested in uh, being a new dasher, I do have a referral link uh, in the description box. If you sign up via my link, we uh, hopefully will both get a bonus. Okay, as long as you finalize the requirements that they require you to require you to do. Okay. So uh, if you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. Um, if you guys, uh, like I said, you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, hit the subscribe button because I don't want you guys to miss out my next DoorDash video. Okay. So with that being said, um, happy dashing and hope you guys have a great day. Take care now, guys. Bye-bye.